All right, welcome back. John's Junk, I'm gonna do another Eat Like a Man. Today, let's talk about something. Y'all are overcomplicating and risk it. You can go all the, through all the steps and tips and tricks. People like uh, Chud's Barbecue, ATB Barbecue, Mad Scientist Barbecue. They just don't put too much into it. Come on. This is just a brisket that's been tempered for an hour or so. It's still cold-ish. Got a fire going to one side. That's maybe 20 briquettes, if that. Um, I have this. Got it on clearance. I'm going to use that because this is dry. It's not going to take much. Ooh, gooey. Got an injury on that hand, so I'm going to keep that guy out of it. I'm just gonna smear it up real good with some of this stuff. This is just a binder. Not really gonna taste it. Use my hand here. Just smear him on. Something for the uh, rub to stick to. Don't have to be super thorough. Just get it everywhere. That's good enough. Kind of sort of get some of that off my hands. Aye. It's smoking a lot. Hey, it's supposed to. This is our rub. Really simple. I'm gonna call this Velma. To play on Dalmatian because it is just literally one part salt, one part pepper, and some garlic powder. And I'm just going to get in here and pat it on. Got a flap under there, I need to get in there. That's good enough. Now this is the downside. So all that's going to come dripping off. It's more of a pat than a rub. Just get it everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. I want that side, fat side up, whatever that side is. And that should do it. Wash my hands. I'm just using some hardwood briquettes. I got some hickory on there. And I'm going to use my dry hand. Some apple just on there like that. Get some heavy duty foil here. I'm just gonna lift this guy up a bit. Now I'm just gonna protect him from direct heat. That's all I'm doing. And my hands are dirty again. It'll be alright. I need more water in my water bowl. I'm gonna add a few more briquettes to that. And I'll show you my setup. More little pieces off to the side. Set off to the side, not down to the bottom. All right, let's look at my setup real quick. All right, water pot roughly in the middle. Fire off to the one side. There's maybe 30 briquettes now, some hickory, some apple. And that's it. This is just my eh, 18 inch Weber kettle. No need to be fancy. I don't have a smoker. I can't smoke anything. Yeah, you can. Let's get this guy on here without burning myself. That did it. I'm going to put a lid on it. Close those down about halfway. Plenty of smoke coming out. We're aiming for around 250 on our temperature in here for six, eight hours, maybe. I don't even know what time it is now. It's kind of late to get started. Um, if I had to guess, it's around 10 o'clock. Uh, around dinner time, this will be ready to go. I'll wrap it in about six hours. It'll be four ish. Crank the heat and uh, Bring it up to around 220, and that's all it takes. I'm getting out of the smoke. See you in a bit. Temp got a little out of control. Had to refuel it a bit. It's windy, and that soaks up uh, fuel. But that's what she looks like now after three-ish hours. I'm gonna let it go for another three-ish hours, and uh, well, I'll let it go for another two hours. Then I'll stick a probe in it, and then. Uh, We'll think about wrapping it and cranking the heat. 152 degrees. Cruising at about 250. 
that bark looks like it's set. It's uh, 2.30, 3 o'clock ish, I think. I don't know. It's 4 o'clock, so this has been going for 6 hours. It has taken all the smoke it's going to take. So, I think I'm going to wrap it. Ow. fire still got plenty of heat left in it. I was going to take this and put it in my oven, but I don't think I'm going to now. I'm just going to spread that out once I wrap this. No right way or wrong way to do this. Just make it tight. I want some of that fat. I'm trying to get all of that fat really hot. I'm trying not to pull up any water. I do. Eh, so what? That'll do. Ow, hot. I'm just going to go right back in the middle. Stabby McStabberton. And that can uh, hang out in there. Crank the heat all the way up. That's going to hang out in there until that gets to around 220-ish. Or whatever I decide. Whatever I feel like. Whatever I feel like is done. That's what I'm done. Alright, we're at... Uh... Wow. Loud squirrel. We're at uh, 187 degrees, pushed past the stall, which didn't take very long because we're wrapped. <clears throat> Running out of heat. So I am just going to pull this. Ooh, that's nice and soft. I'm gonna pull this and I'm gonna put it in my oven. Looks like about cranking to 350 degrees. Now, could just easily just keep putting a little, more, a little bit more charcoal. I think I've used half of a five pound bag. How big is that bag? Where is the bag? Hello bag. There's the bag. Eight pounds. Used a little bit less than four pounds of charcoal for this. I could just keep adding, but it's mild out, so I'm not gonna mind running my oven. Gas is cheaper than uh, charcoal. So, I'm going to put this in my oven until it gets to the temp I want. Then I'm going to let it rest, and we're almost done. Alright, it has been less than 40 minutes. It took less than 40 minutes at... By the way, these are not enough for pulling stuff out of the oven. It took less than 40 minutes to get to 205 from 185 ish I guess oh you could let this set in the fridge and the freezer don't put it in the fridge or the freezer put it in the cooler put it in the microwave and just let it set let it rest um, I'm hungry uh, this has been eight hours we started at 10 it's now six ish 10 ish to six ish I guess hour for lunch it took seven hours to do this don't overcomplicate it. Don't overthink it. It is, you can take it out of there and uh, burn the heck out of yourself slicing this up, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to let this rest for about an hour and uh, we'll see what the carryover temp is in about an hour. It's already risen a degree since I've pulled it out of the oven. Um, but we'll be back in an hour. See you then. It's now 7 ish o'clock, 192 degrees. Turn this guy off so he quit squealing at me. Uh, let's get this guy open. Oh, look at all the juice. 
go juice in there. That is uh, ready to carve up. So it's carving. It's still really hot. Oh, it's falling apart. Uh, get rid of all this. Lead net. Ooh, there we go. Oh, that is like so juicy. What do I do with a the knife? There it is. Of course, I'm covered in fat and grease. Let's get a chunk of that. That's okay, because I should have trimmed it. Wow, that's hot. Probably what I wind up doing is making a... Uh, ooh, look at that. that Velma rub has got the goodness. Probably what I wind up doing is uh, treading this like full pork, because it's so soft. I think that's what you want. I don't know. Very wet, very juicy. I'm going to go slap a couple pieces of that. Bunch of bread, make gob it in my face hole. Stop overcomplicating your brisket. Eight hours, no effort, no work. Salt, pepper, garlic powder, and some smoke and thyme. Easy. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. I don't know what that was. Probably what a what?